I think another aspect of my personality is, is that I'm a bit of a pyromaniac and I got involved in kiln building with students at Harrow many years ago. One of the things that's always fascinated me is salt glaze. I just had a passion for a process that would all happen in the kiln. You know, I like the fact that I put pots in a kiln without a glaze on the surface, on the outside surface, and um, they come out glazed. You know, they, they change in a profound way. That encourages me to do certain things with the form, because I know that the salt's going to be revealing, it's going to respond, it's, I make little stamps. I use little details on edges, um, on shoulders, the foot of a pot, little mouldings that I run around. I, I cut little bits of plastic, file notches in them. And all those little details partly derive from history and also develop because I'm interested in architecture, but also because I love the way the salt responds to them. It has a, a personality disorder, doesn't it, this jug? It's, it's not a happy jug, it's a, it's a kind of, I don't know, it's, it's, it's depressed. <laughs> it, it lacks confidence, lack, lacks self-esteem as jugs go. And it certainly doesn't invite you to pick it up. It hasn't got a, got a handle, admittedly, but um, even if it had one, I don't think you'd be rushing to pick it up. So. Um, we need to change the angle. So, I take a coil, a bit like a cigar, and then lift one side of the base of the jug, the lower portion of the jug, and I look at the angle of that and decide whether that's about right, and I think probably it is. Um, and then I have a, a number of blocks of wood, quite a few of these. And these blocks have little blades set in them. The blades are made out of a finishing pin, tapped in, and then filed down to form a, a sharp edge. So they're like little flat blades. Um, and they're set at different heights. And according to which way up I put them, I've got a whole range of heights. So I simply try twisting this round until I get to the height I want. And I think I can afford to lose a bit of extra height on this piece, so I'll settle for that one. And I run it round. It sits on the wheel, so that as it runs around, it remains, the blade remains parallel to the wheel. And as the pot's tilted at an angle, it takes more off of one side than the other. Pick that up take that piece off and you have have an angle and then you have a personality change immediately yeah <laughs> that jug knows what it's about